and I feel I feel like my life changed that first day I walked in there. I stood on the stage, and the director, Joan Knight, was in the in the darkness. You couldn't see her, and she was like, "Darling, darling, darling, could you, darling, could you move to the left?" And I I didn't know which darling she was talking to. Am I a darling? It's, I didn't assume that I would be the darling, you know. And um, but it was wonderful, and and I and I started being able to watch professional actors in the wings. I watched them from the wings. I, I could watch them warm up. I, I, I learned about stage management, what they did, I had no idea, you know. I, I learned, I think most of all I learned about the discipline of the theatre, that it's, that to make this magic happen on stage, there, there's, a, there's a, a, a very strong discipline required backstage and in the wings, and people, um, I, I was able to watch actors through rehearsal and be amongst them on stage while they rehearsed, and um, for six months I worked at Perth Rep, and it was the best thing that happened to me, it was really, it set, it set me on my way, you know. I think I've summarised it in the past as uh, it gives them a feeling of being able to walk tall. Um, by that I mean that they're, um, they've got a, a, a greater confidence in them, themselves and their own abilities. Um, and I'm not just talking about those that have actually had to walk the stage. I think some form of interest or creative spark, there's a pretty strong correlation with success. Um, and not just in creative industries in life and business and, and jobs in general. It's starting them on the road of, of reflection. They're, 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 they're having to question themselves and how they've, um, they've, they've gone about their work and uh, uh, that demand on them. It's quite challenging, I think, for, 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 for young people. The notion of to see ourselves as others see us that maybe invites that uh, type of reflection. And I would argue that can only be good for a young person as, as they grow and develop into young adults. There's been a significant change in the confidence of young people. They've noticed um, some young people that they'd never expected to be involved at all have just blossomed. There's a much more positive atmosphere um, and there's a real motivation. And these were the things that they wanted to achieve. There are little kids, particularly some of the younger lads in first year, who stuck it out. Um, who I, I think genuinely you can look at, at the curb issues that are being raised about their behaviour in school and see a change from October, November onwards. I think at the beginning they were quite nervous. Um, they weren't sure about what the process was going to be. So I think they were, um, they were very quiet. Um, and then when they started to talk about music for theatre, they, they, that was when they were sort of, this was new, this was a new thing writing music for theatre and I think when we, we stepped sort of through that we got through that and, and they realised well hold on it's not actually it's not really really different we're going to actually start exploring text and exploring music and then they became more confident about writing the music they, they just went for it a bit more. One of my biggest difficulties in the whole thing was making sure that they all had enough to do because they didn't suit the job so well so quickly. I kind of set you know to be um, a, a group of say four girls and I'd, um, and I'd ask them to, to tack up a whole load of um, cam net all around a certain side and they had to be a certain height and had to fit together perfectly and had to be this, and these pieces there and those pieces there and all the sort of details. Um, not necessarily really expect, you know, expecting it to kind of come along and see bits of it and sort of say, well, we need to move that away. But I'd come back an hour later, half an hour later, and it'd all be done. And it'd be completely finished and, I, and I'd be sort of scratching my head to sort of think of something else that they could then get on with. Sometimes teachers are a little guilty of not high enough ambitions for the kids. I think that was great that some of them really had their eyes open to what some kids were capable of. There was no end to the number of occasions that, that I would see teachers come into the hall just to look at what we were doing and, and visibly see on their faces, what's he doing in here? I'd have never thought I'd found that kid doing this. He's, he's normally kind of hanging about causing trouble and here he is, you know, helping to, to lead one of the small groups of kids. You know, I think that, that was... Um, that was noticeable. They get very used to teachers, take them very much for granted, and uh, any other group of people just widens their experience. Uh, it's wonderful. There's some of them that are, are more confident at playing, definitely, for them. In, in a strange way, the, the, I, the, the process of the improvising and composition was really, really strong, but actually at the end, I think they'll take away a lot, a lot of techniques to do with performing and listening 
because in the curriculum these things are split up. Um, hopefully they'll get from the project is what I wanted to get, is that this is all, it all has to be one thing. Because once you're better at composing, you're better at performing it, and then once you you can listen and perform more, you can work out how to improvise, and it just goes round. And I think maybe they were thinking very separately in terms of, well, I can't, I can't compose, but I can perform. I can't perform what I'll write. And I think all of them ended up doing all of the things because that's music: listening, performing, inventing, it's improvising. That's. That's an all-rounded musician. It made it a lot easier to talk to different year groups because different people were involved with it that you might normally not talk to. I found that I kind of gained a bit more confidence and like in front of people and working with other people. Yeah, it's like everyone who was involved became like one giant team and you knew everyone. For me it's like built up my confidence and I'm more good for myself.